Should have seen this coming when he first called her. Her shine is practically pathological. But if he cut her loose now, all this frustration would be for nothing. But I can't do it, she whined again. I'm sorry, I really am. Look, just calm down. I was practically screaming into the phone. Just stay where you are until I get there, okay? Got that? Whatever you do, just don't move. Leaving the money for his coffee on the, on the table, he strode out of the cafe. Street interviews were tougher than they looked. Not many random passerbys were willing to stop and do a back and forth. Still, being able to talk to people on the street was a fundamental skill for freelance reporter. Yeah, but it's also the way she's done it. Because she didn't come off as a reporter, she came off like some weird uh, evangelist or something by saying, Are you happy? All I wanted was for Jackie to put up a little effort to make it happen. Although he found her personality frustrating, he actually quite liked her writing. Reading her words, you'd never guess what she was like in person. If she could just break the right story, he was sure the readers would be quite taken with her. There was no time like the present. That's how the radio station was crowded as ever. Mokawa looked around and soon spotted Chiaki. Hey, what are you doing? he asked. <laughs> she was hunched over in front of the statue of Hachiko, squatting in an odd position. Oh, Hachiko, that's the dog, isn't it? Yeah. A group of kindergartners were gathered nearby, peering at her with sadness in their eyes, like she was a stray dog or something. I wouldn't call that sadness, they're just sort of like, looking at her like, what the fuck is going on here? A pair of girls from Dory Academy's kindergarten, they always hang out around the train station after school. They're quite fond of killing time inside of Tokyo 5000 series display car. The new landmark by the Hachiko entrance. The big cop of the station's police box has nicknamed them the Kinder Partners. The Kinder Partners? What? Uh, what's this all about? Oh, uh, this is how I ended up and I lose all my self consciousness. I just want to hide. Oh, for crying out loud, get up, will you? I, I don't want to. Stop crying! Jackie stumbled behind her eyes. Let me ask you this, I stared down at her. What was it that made you want to be a freelance writer? I, well, I guess it's because I wanted to try my hand at writing? A dangling bit of mucus <laughs> oh, bobbed in and out of Jackie's left nostril as she spoke. Okay, I followed. And why is that? Um, uh, well, I'm too embarrassed to say. Jackie hit her face with her hands. Okay, never mind that then. Right now, you have a task that's been landed to you. You can't just say you can't do it. Look, I will try to keep his tone calm. No magazine in the world is going to let a novice writer just write about whatever they want. You have to prove yourself first. Get your fundamentals down. I already know all that. I took the notebook from Jackie's hands. Hey, she squeaked. Wait. You've only talked to one person so far? There sure wasn't going to be a story in that. Uh, yeah, well, um, well uh, not a person exactly. Hmm? Wait, what's this here? A cat? <laughs> no, I mean, yes, there was a person in the cat suit. Yeah. Tama! 